what am I doing here? Aloha, welcome to the second session of Wisdom Dialogues. Thank you for joining. And does anyone have any questions? <laughs> Stop. Nah. It is on there. Oh, You're muted. Okay, so I'll mute her like that. There. You're yes. muted now. <laughs> <laughs> You're muted now. So I don't know if anyone has any questions, but um, you're welcome to ask questions or, oh, I see someone. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to go answer. Aloha, Bob. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you great. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured out how to get on this. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for doing this again. Yeah, it's so my pleasure. So then, um, okay, so then like in your uh, Facebook, Yeah. Uh, uh, you say, happenings occur in the mind while nothing touches the source of mind, which is me. And then you say, my prayer is silence. Persons perform worship so that their projections can be fulfilled. While God, goddess, saints, divas, and angels remain focused on worshiping me. So you use that word me a lot. And I would, uh, I would want you to describe what me is. Who is me and what does that mean? Well, whenever I use me like that with a capital letter, it's not anything that can be perceived. So it's not anything that's in the perception. It's behind the perception. It's not anything that has a form, um, limits, name, anything like that. So that's really what it's referring to. I mean, everything else is made up in the mind. So is this like an actual, like an I am identity that we all share in common? Or, uh, oh, yeah, it's just... definitely common. Yeah, it's definitely common. It's not meant to have any kind of individuality. So, yeah, it's like when uh, the great commandment, love the Lord thy God with all your heart and love thy neighbor as thyself, and how you do that is by recognizing the same I am identity that you share with uh, your uh, fellow human being and with God, that the three of you share the same impersonal I am identity. Yeah, and then that so, all depends on, too, is, you know, the idea of God. A lot of, for a lot of people, the idea of God is really the ego. You know, it's like the God of the mind. It's the God of, the, of, the, of consciousness, you know. And consciousness is really a state of separation. It's following that thought that says, I'm separate, I'm, I'm afraid, and I'm separate. And then it makes this world of all these separate bodies and stuff like that. So a lot of times when you say God, it, it's referred to as the creator of this world of all these separate bodies. And, you know, that's not it. That's, that's ego that's created the world. Of separation with bodies that bleed and die. <laughs> so that that's not the same. There's another there's another way to look at God and as as also you know just like I just described me as the formless and without any name didn't create basically hell on earth. <laughs> that's all misperceptions creating that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's uh, I just you, you use that statement a lot, uh, the me with the capital M. So I just right. wanted uh, you to, to share with us exactly uh, that, that what you feel that means, the definition of that. Yeah, it just really has no definition, I guess, because any word you attach to it, then it kind of takes on a a certain meaning and. Really, I mean, another way to say it is awareness. So, and, and you know, the word isn't it. That's a thing. It's like people have issues with different words like God and awareness and even me. So that's why I change it up a lot. You could say love. Mm. You know, um, it's really 
it's it's really uh, just a pointer, so people can experience that from their own experience, not from a concept. Right. Yeah. Well, that's all words can be. It's the pointer. The word tree isn't the tree. And uh, yeah. I guess the word me is it me. Uh, <laughs> you, you right. Just, you can't uh, describe the, the ineffable, the unknowable through uh, vowel and consonant sounds. That's all language is, vowel and consonant sounds. And, and that cannot describe uh, the uh, formless and nameless and uh, ineffable. So that's kind of what you're saying with, with the me is it has no form, it has, uh, and yet yes. this is the, the the substance or the space or the essence that is behind all form and phenomena. Yes, and it doesn't have any any kind of um, it doesn't have any kind of control over what's going on in this time space reality either. What some people refer to as the dream. That's another way mm -hmm. to look at. It. Hang on just a second. My little boy wants to ask me a question. Oh, I took it off because it's distracting me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. And then the me I just use in that sense. That's like not me. <laughs> mm, that's so, not you, of course. Uh, of course, yeah, yeah. So it's just, and that's just a matter of noticing it because. Everything we talk, everything we speak in the languaging, it's always referring to the separation because that's what this whole time-space reality is based on. It's based on the separation. But, you know, that's where the choice comes in is to see whether you're believing in, in the illusion or not. Are we, believing in the, uh, are we believing in the illusion or are, do we know? what's going on. I mean, even if there's not the experience of it, there's that devotion and dedication to just being aware of what's going on, what's really going on. This this reality that seems so solid is really just a dream and it's passing and even consciousness is, is passing. It's not eternal. Mm -hmm. So, but this me is, is the eternity behind the, the finite appearances, the the, the awakened uh, witness awareness behind the dreaming, sleeping, separate self. Yeah, and not behind as a creator either. I see. Because, because it's not. It, Go ahead. Yeah. Well, it's uh, the 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 creator. The creator of reality doesn't create illusion. Doesn't create the the. Uh, the false images in the dream. Yeah, or a sense yeah. of separation. Yeah. Right, the sense of separation, right. Yeah. So that's and of, anything and any death. Yeah. And any death. Yeah, there's no death either. That's why this whole dream world is a dream. And it's not and it's not a matter of trying to make a better life in this dream world or trying to make this dream world better either. That's just a distraction. Because it, it just digs deeper into this sense of separation when really this whole what's being experienced in this world with all the separate bodies and everything and the individuality, notice that duality is at the end of individuality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like it, that's not... That's not created. It's an illusion and it's made up. And the, the god of the illusion is ego, which is not a person with, with a form or anything like that. It's just that this small little mistake, it's a little tiny mistake that turns into a really big illusion. It's just a little mistake that says, I'm separate. That's all, that's all it is. It's like, I'm separate, and all of this other stuff adds right onto it. And so it's so in order to see through that mistake, it takes devotion and it's all in the thoughts, it's all in the perception. It has to do with work in the mind. 
And um, by that work is what I mean is every moment something arises, it's just notice. It's just looked at as, is this real? Is this real? And, in, and noticing that's not real. Oh, that's not real. Oh, that's not real. And then these thoughts stop to have so much steam over you. And you can see more and more that everything that's born in separation is just not even true. And it's not like it's a problem either. It's like you can still play in it, but you know it doesn't touch you. Mm, so whatever happens is world. okay. Was that, Bob? To be in the world, but not of it. Yeah, that's that's one way that Christians put it a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but then the world, the world of form. You know, I look out, I see a house, I see a tree, I see a dog. All huh? perception uh, denotes uh, separate forms and animals and phenomenon. So, in mm -hmm. order to get out of that uh, state of separation, you would have to step back into that formless reality. Otherwise, you're always stuck in just being stuck in form and and uh, uh, bumping shoulders with all these other separate forms around you. So it seems like the only way to get out of that is to get out of it and uh, wake up and uh, step out of the dream of separation of form and phenomenon into the pure space consciousness, formless space consciousness. And there's and the thing is there's not really someone who can get out of it like that too. It's um it's something that just occurs as there's this willingness that arises to be devoted to the truth. To always be devoted to the truth. Because it's always in the thoughts, it's always in the thought processes. It's not in that which you see as being separate. It's not in just looking out and seeing that, that there's separation. Like you look out and you see these different forms, but it's in the thoughts, and the thoughts be become fearful, and that'll allow your subconscious thoughts to become known to you, because most of the time these subconscious thoughts they aren't even known. You know, they're just kind of running around by themselves because they're just automatically taken as true. So when there's a willing, go ahead. The, the, the programming that we all have. Yeah, it's subconscious programming. Yep, exactly. I'm getting a slow connection, so I don't know if you guys can um, see my camera very well, but um, if you have a question... Uh, I see you. Yeah. Oh, you see me? Okay. Yeah, 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 we see you great. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for the answer. <laughs> You're welcome. Feel free to raise your hand again if you'd like to come back on. Okay. Mahalo. Love you, Bob. Mahalo. Love you. So if anyone else has a question, please go ahead and raise. Oh, I see a question. Lori, hooray. Aloha, Lori. Hello. Okay. So happy so to when see you again. The same here. <laughs> Um, you were saying, because as you were talking to Bob, I was, I, what arose was literally I see that I'm not in control of what is happening. And yeah. it's just, things are happening, not unlike me sitting here talking to you. It's happening, huh? and I'm not doing yeah. it. So right. is, is it inevitable that I'm going to? Realize, because because the thought came up. Okay, what I have to do now is say, that's not real. That's not real. Like we had a little meltdown. We went camping with friends this weekend, and okay. my girlfriend had a meltdown, <laughs> complete flip out. Wonderful. And yes, wonderful. I saw it as pure perfection, and <laughs> the unfolding, the actual. How it all happened blew my mind. I mean, the perfection in it, you can't make it up. I, I, I was in awe of the whole freaking thing. Anyway, and uh, but I was sitting there thinking as she, her and her husband were just 
go and I mean she was just the mind was blaming him yeah just losing it on him and that's yeah. never never happened we've been camping with these two forever oh <laughs> perfect <laughs> so yeah so I'm I was sitting there thinking you know the thoughts were showing how perfect perfect everything had unfolded leading up to that point and I there was a thought that wow if she could get out of the anger and blaming him she could break down and feel it like you were talking about yeah. last week about all about yeah. feeling it but she yeah. did later on she did but during yeah. it it was head to head with the two of them he was so oh. amazing with her amazing oh. but uh when I was sitting there instead of you know going into the perfection of it all I, I could have been saying which I mean I know there's no could have should have would have but if I had said in that moment this isn't real would, would, see I'm thinking that that would advance me that would make Laurie more realizing that this is a dream because doesn't feel like a dream. I, I mean, it does feel like a dream in some ways, but then in, yeah. because it's been so blissful lately. But uh -huh. in other ways, I'm in it. I'm okay. It seems like you are. It it totally seems like you are, and that's the thing. It's not like you have to try to get to a goal of seeing it a, a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, and and even though there's no glory and there's no individuality, right? Right. There is this mind that has been thinking a lot. <laughs> oh, you betcha. So, there's an entity in the dream, right? There's an right. entity in the dream. And it's a, it's a mind. And that mind can be devoted to the truth or not. You see that? Mm. So it's, it, 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 the willingness arises in the mind to be devoted to the truth and not keep buying into illusions all the time. So it, the words aren't really important as far as the words that say, oh, this isn't real or anything like that. There don't need to be any words at all. Just watching whatever thoughts arise in the mind and one of those thoughts is, oh, this isn't real maybe, you know. Because, see, you're not making thoughts happen. happen. Right. Thoughts are being offered. Right. Okay, they're circulating the collective mind, and then they're attracted to your mind, which is basically an individual mind, also an illusion. But you know, it, this is this is also important in the dream, because it's like it's almost like the the mind walks itself out of the dream. So it's so. It, hey, sweetie, can I do this without that? Because then it that just distracts. Thank you. <laughs> That's my sweetie. <laughs> so, um, where was I at? <laughs> um, about the distract? Oh uh, no, not the distract. <laughs> okay, I okay, I see now. Okay, so so it's like these thoughts are different thoughts are are offered to you, right. and the ones that come up are the ones first that you're most or that you're most addicted to, let's put it that way, or more right. most habitual, okay, are the ones that show themselves first. Okay. So if you're if, if there's interest in those, then those will take those will take all the stage and everything else will be on the backstage. Okay. So it's not a matter of going and searching for the right thoughts. It's just being open and seeing which thoughts arise and um, being willing to just see through them and and big part of that is feeling what they feel like at least in my experience that's how it is right well the thoughts that come I yeah mean, in any situation like that situation was um, explaining away what has happened seeing seeing the timeline like the tote being falling off back when we left the house the tote with all of her clothes and her medication and she getting up there and flipping out but then not not letting it go and then you know using my clothes and everybody else's clothes but and she let go of the medication she is on Prozac and and some uh, heart medication and whatever and she thought that she absolutely needed them but she let it go 
and then when there was a cold shower in the evening there was no warm water that's when everything broke <laughs> but oh I my was, God. yeah so I was seeing the perfection I mean how it all led up to that mm -hmm. sure and so those thoughts that are explaining away the situation or seeing how life is pushing her to feel it sure are don't need to be um, bought into yeah they don't need to be anything really the, the, the more you feel the sensation of the thoughts there the more they're just seen through because it's all like separation all the all the thoughts that arise in the mind that had say anything about anyone it's right. just all separation so okay. it's not like you have to try to push them or anything like that just and, and see there here's the thing like from my experience everything that happens everything that I perceive first of all it's not happening okay it's not actually happening nothing ever happened the universe wasn't even created <laughs> so nothing, nothing's happening and everything that appears to be happening is to help my mind find its way back home that's all okay so then everything that everything that occurs is absolutely a gift in that regard okay right, right. And, it, and then at the same time it doesn't need to have any kind of commentary um that doesn't but, need to but commentary arises yeah and so that's okay yeah and and then hang on just a second I turn my phone off um and that's okay commentary can arise all day long it's totally right. cool right it's just noticing that it's not necessary okay and not necessary when it, to buy into yeah well if it's if it's if it's necessary then you're following it right yeah. And if it's unwanted, then you're trying to push it. Mm, okay. So it's kind of like right in between. <laughs> oh my God. It's not necessary. <laughs> but isn't that okay? So that those thoughts arise are leading to um, the feeling. Okay. Well, right. well, they definitely come with a feeling. Yes. Yes, they definitely come with the feeling. Doesn't the, feeling the thought is... come first and then the feeling happens? I would say so because it's pretty obvious that the bo that the body is a projection of the mind. Right. Okay. Well, so those so thoughts feel it. Right. So those thoughts have to be bought into to feel it. And this is all in order to get home, we need to feel everything that's been stuffed yep. inside since we were little kids yeah and that goes really fast too if there's just a willingness to be there with it you know you saw you, you notice that these kinds of things don't even need to get projected like that you know they don't even they don't even end up getting projected like that anymore there ends up just being this willingness in the in that moment to just be with whatever it is yeah whatever the feeling is yeah, yeah, and then and then the thoughts that they they just float. They they might stick. They might be sticky for a while. They might float and then come back again, really fast. Like if you're really in some kind of a whirlwind, they might start coming back, you know, really strong again, and they float again, and then they come back again. Um, just as long as they're not bought into, because that's how it just accelerates or um, it's. It's, it accelerates the learning, and there is learning that's taking place. That's taking place because it's like the mind has been buried. This individual mind has been buried in its own thoughts, uh, very deeply. Right. So there is a learning to get to come back out. I mean, that doesn't happen. I've I've heard of that not happen having to happen for everyone, but it's pretty pretty normal for um, for most to have to kind of climb out yeah you know? that's what it and, feels like yeah and and see and, and and see what I what I find is really really helpful is noticing that it's not me that's climbing out either right right it's watching this it's just, there's there's watching this um, sort of like a movie that's happening here right. there is a devotion that happens but you know it's like it, it's like there's still there's a devotion and at the same time 
there's no individual being devoted. Right. So I that's that. really important. Well, it's kind of like yeah. an unfolding. It's kind of like what? An unfolding. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. the way I, that's the way, the word that I've been seeing arise because literally it's an unfolding. Things are coming, happening. There's thoughts about the happening. They're either bought into or not, and I'm not in charge of whether I'm buying into them or not. Well, there is a there is a point here. No, you're not in charge of whether you bought into something a second ago. But right now, <laughs> okay. in the memory and in the future, you don't have a choice as to what you buy into. Right. But right here, right here, is where it is, there's absolutely always, always, always a choice in that. That's, that's the thing to see, is that right here, there's always a choice. I mean, I've been to a, I, I've had an experience where um, there was feeling like there was almost like this huge struggle going on, like I was just about to lose my shit on somebody, and just, and, and I knew that it was complete delusion, but I could feel this, this energy, you know, just wanting to just like lay into them, and you know, in my mind, there was, in, in that instance, there was just a, help me, Jesus. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to go off on him. Well, there was, there was it's, it's totally feeding into a separate self, and I didn't want to do that. I could tell there was no desire to do that, but there was this energy so strong pulling me. And so there was just a, in the mind, help me, Jesus. And I just felt this. Whoa. It just and dissipated. Dis dissipated and, and I was able to show love. And so that, wow. and so one thing, you know, I really would like to point out is it does not have to be the name Jesus for one. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does not have to be God. It doesn't have to be anything. But there are um, entities in the mind Okay, that's not ruled by ego. Okay, this is this this reality that we experience with separate bodies and stuff like that. It's ruled by ego. Also, in the mind, this reality is covering up the real reality in the mind. There are entities that do not have ego. They do not have ego. Ask them for help. <laughs> They'll help you. <laughs> no shit. In the moment, like when that whole breakdown was happening in the camp and my husband and I were outside by the fire, I could have said, or said, help me. Wow, that's awesome. Help me. And help me. Just knowing that there are and the angels and, you know, angels have never been incarnated. Um, and... All kinds of, you know, it's almost yeah. like you have this whole team rooting for your mind to be reunited in with the, with the mind, where it actually never even left. It's just this following of thoughts to a place that's like hell. It, that is, it is the definition of hell. I mean, <laughs> yeah, these right. bodies yes. die. Yeah. You appear to yeah. die, okay? You go through mm -hmm. all kinds of pain. Yep, <laughs> suffering. Or <laughs> like, okay, that's not that's not created, <laughs> and it's right. like there's this whole team, um, that not oh, only really for you, but willing to help you. But see, it's like there's this free will, and again, it doesn't have to do with anything you do, say, eat, whatever in the world. But there's this free will as to whether or not you will accept that help. Will you accept mm. it, right? Because mm. there's this se sense of self that's separate, right? And then the sen that se sense of self has a subconscious mind, thoughts that it doesn't even know are there. That's why a lot of the times this thing will come out like a wild animal ready to attack. Right, right, right. And then, it, and then it's, like, it's like, wow, something just made me attack that person, mm. place, or thing. 
you know, and it becomes very violent. So you can always call on um, those resources. Right, in that moment when you feel it right. coming and you don't want it to come. You uh -huh. can call on, oh, that, I've never heard that. I have yeah. never heard that in all <laughs> my spiritual seeking, searching, never. That is oh, really? a beautiful thing. Well, you know, that's that's something that um, that that I guess Christians, I think a lot of them do all the time, you know, mm. but it's, but it's not something that, um, that it's not something that's normally done when people are triggered. See, that's the thing. It's like, right, right. It, it's like noticing well, it's, triggered. Right. Noticing the trigger and taking a step back instead of automatically yeah. flipping out. Yeah. That's the but hardest, I, that's right. the hardest thing most people are asking for guidance on is, what decision should I make in the world, and how do I get those blue shoes or whatever? <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, but I think there's enough awareness here now that I, I think I can do that. I really think because I can feel it arising in me, especially yeah. with my husband. Yeah. But, there, but I don't flip out. I don't flash back. But huh? just I never thought to say, "Help me." Yeah. Help me come yeah. up with the right. Yeah. Come up with yeah. the perfect. And not, yeah, and and it's not even to it's not even to do anything. It's a, it's just the help is to um, retreat, right. retreat from that right. thought pattern you're on right now. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, right. Retreat from that. Right. Because <laughs> you know Get how the so strong. Yeah, yeah, and and all energy, all energy is bad. It's ego, you know. Right. That's why you just let the let all those sensations be felt, and then the awareness can take care of it. Right. And, um, and, and it then too shall pass. Yeah, and then notice that, and then notice that if there is that where there's the a speaking in separation, um, a speaking as if we're separate bodies, that you know there's there's absolutely no reason to compound any guilt, and that's why you just notice that there was absolutely that was the only choice you could have made in that moment. That's right. the choice yeah. you made, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's always this moment where there's a choice. When you're talking yep. about a memory or something like that, that you that done. Was, could done. Have, could have come, yeah. Right. Because you know, you're there's there's no way you're not gonna do the very best you possibly could. Yeah. Yeah. You're aware I get of. that. After yeah. going to, after <laughs> going to Byron Katie's school, I got that one deep. There's yeah. no shoulds. And that's what I was saying all weekend. Every time somebody, I should have. I'm like, no, you can't. Should have done anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just notice when it comes up. You just notice when it comes up, and then mm. it'll say it, even when it speaks it in your in your own mind. And then here's another thing, Lori, to to, to tune into. Anytime some words come out of what is perceived as another person or anything like that. It's it's not really uh, separate from you. Like it doesn't matter what mouth it came out of. <laughs> that's it's. It doesn't, and and even any kind of any kind of drama or anything like that. It's never separate. It doesn't matter who is performing it, or who appears to be performing it. It's all actually for the same thing. It's all actually to help that separate sense of self become whole again, return, returning to wholeness. Through another person, it, yes, it's absolutely anything that's perceived. Absolutely anything that's perceived. There's no, there's actually no difference between me saying something and you saying something. You saying something and me saying something, because there is no you and me like that. All that's being perceived, everything is for that, is for returning. Oh wow. Yeah, that's, so there has to be a complete willingness to give up all this separation. Right. Like she said that. You know, it starts to happen in my experience, too, is like, like say, in, in the happening, um, one of my sons broke something, right? And what will start to happen is my, I notice my languaging start to change. You know, slowly start to change to, it broke. <laughs> uh. God, someone did it. <laughs> right? Ah, <laughs> like, wow. 
not like there's an individual responsible for it or something like that. So, and even when I posted today on Facebook and I posted um, um, the the video, and yeah. after I posted, I noticed it said I uploaded the video, and I'm like, yeah, actually, <laughs> the video's uploaded. <laughs> no I in there. You know, I didn't modify it or anything like that, but just noticing the little things. Yeah. This is the sense of separation speaking all the time. So, so just it would be video uploaded. <laughs> video is upload. Video is now uploaded. But see, it's not a matter of changing the um, wording either. That's not what I'm saying. It's a matter of noticing all the different ways that, that the eye sneaks in there. Yes, it's sneaking in, and and um, you know, the video could have been uploaded by another eye. It doesn't matter. Right. The, the point is, the video is uploaded. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Wow. It really seemed like I did it because I spent like 20 hours on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you did because I can share it now. <laughs> no, and, and you know what? Now my mind learned how to do it. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> that is awesome because this one will be on and I can share this one too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I really, and you know what, it's a lot of fun too, Lori, that's the other thing. It's so much fun to see all the different ways that the mind makes it seem like there is individuality right. and there's a separate. Did you, did you catch that, that the, the end of individuality is duality? Yeah, that's cool. I did catch that. <laughs> Everything makes me laugh lately. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So that, so so yeah. It's really fun to see all the different ways, like just projecting out all different ways, and, and you know, different people are doing things different, and um, and there's there's this there's always this kind of pull to kind of like compare them to this idea of myself, right? Well, that's the mind comparing. That's <laughs> the mum, number one thing it does. Yeah, it's a total pull to do stuff like that. I noticed that in conversation too. Like, like, um, like I'll be talking with a friend and 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 I'll, oh, how do you do that? Oh, I do it this way, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I'll notice this little energy where it'll there will be kind of like a competition, like who's doing it better. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. Just to notice that, and then you know what'll happen in my experience? I'll just stop talking. I'll just stop talking about how I do it and what I do. Uh, <laughs> I'll just get right out of that. Because you know what I know to starts happening is like then both parties start defending their way of, that they do it. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm talking about why they well, the way they do it is the best. And when really they're not even doing it. Right. Neither, neither right. of us. It's just do. being done. Yeah. It's just being done. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow, you're yep. blowing my mind, girl. Jeez. <laughs> I'm telling you. God. Just, just, just be, it's like just being in, in uh, the perception of this world is basically insane. <laughs> I know. I know. I just keep saying you can't make this shit up. I say it all the time, and because I'm laughing like an idiot over stupid yeah. stuff all the yeah. time. And the That's... and the and the thing is, it is being made up. It's totally being made up, and it's totally based on a thought that um, anyone is separate. It's like this: I am separate thought. All of, and it's all being just extrapolated off of that one. Yeah, it's all made up. So it's oh. so whatever is perceived is all made up. Even and Donald Trump. Even Donald Trump. Yes. Isn't that fun? It's crazy. <laughs> Why the hell would we make that one up? Well, it's know. not like an individual. It's not. The, it's the, it's the, it's the, now, now look at what's going on there. Right. I, look at what's I, going on. Okay? Because hmm. it's not like it's, it's, it's all. It, every single thing that is perceived is perceived through... And consciousness of a body, basically. Self-consciousness. It's all based on consciousness of a body. So if you pick out one thing, or one person, such as Donald Trump, we can use him, and say, that's crazy. 
that separation because there's a, it, there has to be some perceiver to perceive it like that and say that's what it is and label it that way. Mm. When really Donald Trump is no different from your yeah. pet or you or whatever, you know, it's like there's absolutely no difference there and it's all innocence. That's really, really, really important and that's what... Um, that's what a lot of the times is referred to as forgiveness. Right, because I'm just seeing. Yeah. I'm just seeing that labeling him as crazy totally yeah. keeps the separation. Yes. Totally keeps the separation going. Because it now. makes it seem like 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 you're not the one not crazy. That's why you're right. crazy. Right. right. <laughs> when I totally own my craziness. Oh my god. <laughs> but actually, you know, it's like. If if you're experiencing a body amongst other bodies, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> right. right. Oops, and that's exactly and that's exactly what's happening here. That's exactly what's happening. It's like everybody in this time space reality is experiencing separation and other bodies. Mm. So it's like that, and and that's the and deal. none of it is real. Huh? None, of, none of it is real. It's a total dream. It's a total dream. It's just like if you went to if you went to bed at night and you're having a nightmare. Basically, it's a nightmare, really. Yeah, okay. it is. It's a nightmare. So it's not it's not a matter of being awake in the nightmare. It's being it's being awake to the nightmare. <laughs> and then it's not a nightmare for you. <laughs> right? It's sort of like lucid dreaming, right? Mm -hmm. Say you're asleep in your bed, right? And then um, and you're having a dream and there's there's a rabid dog coming at you, mm. and then all of a sudden you're aware that you're dreaming, and then the dog turns into what a butterfly or whatever. Right, 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 right. <laughs> There's no more fear. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter if it bites your head off or whatever. Right, right, right. You know, yeah. So it's so if if there's but that's that's definitely judgment. And watch that politics thing because that's huge. Mm, that's yeah. a that's a big and you know what it's it's great it it's great if um, it can be seen what it is especially if triggers happen in you mm. um, it could be a wonderful practice to go around and read the the news and address the triggers yeah <laughs> I have not watched the news for 20 years okay well whatever it is that gets you information on Donald Trump that makes you think he's crazy yeah Facebook yeah. <laughs> People are posting so much crap. Oh my God! Yeah, well, these are all these are all opinions, and they're all meant to keep everything in separation. Politics is great for that. Yeah, yeah, big all that time stuff is separation. Building on the mind. Yeah, it's just building on the mind. So, so really, really watch that. That's a big one. That's a big one okay. for you. Okay. I can feel it. I can just feel the energy of it, and you know, all it all energy is all energy is ego energy. Right. Right, right. You feel your energy just getting all. <laughs> or I hope I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that guy doesn't get elected. You know. Exactly. Yeah. So that thought that hopes someone won't get elected, this stuff has absolutely no power over you. Mm. The government has no power over you. I, I I've seen you know acting like posts posts especially and just people in general. Um, acting like the government has power over people, and it actually doesn't. It, it, it doesn't. I mean, unless you consider yourself to be that person, you know. Right. It, right. Consider yourself to be a person or a, or a body or a mind, but that's not the case. It's all just a projection. And and and, and see that see how that drums up fear. Yep. You could, yeah, and you could feel it. Oh no, I don't want that to happen. Right. You can right. feel it. That's what keeps that sense of separation going and going. And it's and you know what, Lori, it's not gonna go forever. It's it's gonna it's gonna fail eventually. It's gonna mm -hmm. fail. It already has. It actually already has failed because it never even happened. Okay. Uh, all the big bang is 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 um running it's consciousness running away. That's all. It's like it's like let's make this over here since we're so guilty. <laughs> make this over here, or God can't get us. <laughs> what? Since we're so guilty. 
Well, that's that, that's really that's really what it's based on because this sense of separation is is just based on a thought that separates um, consciousness from source. Let's say source. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a guilt in there, and so it's wanting to be separate to to avoid. It's for avoidance. So that's what all the judgment is too. Like even just even just saying that someone is all the guilt always wants to be projected outward, and so that's what you see in in politics all the time. It's always projecting guilt outward. And it's always projecting it on if you're a Democrat and the Republicans, or the Republicans and Democrats, okay. or whatever um, and you see the, the big scandals on TV and the big scandals and everything it happens to do with someone being very guilty and um, that's really what the ego needs to keep this uh, duality reality in place <laughs> keep on projecting that outward because it's 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 harmful it hurts yeah the guilt hurts yeah it's true it hurts the body yeah exactly so it's like erasing, erasing of this guilt, noticing that everything is innocent, and um, I think politics are so awesome for that, especially since you, you feel all this, um, all this discomfort in the body, especially when you're looking at someone, and it really seems like they would be bad for your country and bad for you and stuff like that. Yeah, that's totally yeah, different. yeah. That's just that. That's just that guilt. I mean. Mm. Um, you know, in in my experience, and that kind of stuff happens like on both on both ends. Like I see the guilt being projected on you know Democrat for Democrats and for Republicans. It's almost like it, the the picture in my mind is almost like holding them in my arms like a baby and just like loving them and calming them. Wow. <laughs> Phoebe coddling Donald Trump, that would be something. She, oh, I can't wait to talk to her about this. Because oh. he is me. There's not any difference. Oh, that's really going to kick her in the ass, too, when she finds out that Donald is her. Yeah. Well, any, anything... Any thought, any thought, right, is energy, and any energy projected, that's a, that's energy that's projected right back. It's like, it's like this. I'm sure you've heard that they say, you point a finger like right. that. Three of them pointing at you. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that kind of stuff, you know, it sets up things in the mind, like um, happenings that are uncomfortable, like um, just any anything that you can think of that's uncomfortable. You know, accidents. Um, right. different stuff like that it's like it's all um, guilt manifests so the last thing you want is to be projecting guilt <laughs> right. or shame for anyone or fear or anything like that so so it's really a matter of looking at those thoughts and when they when they arise and like we talked about before feeling what they feel like because when you feel them in your body too, you're experiencing them for what they are right now. Mm. Instead, projecting them is really running from the feeling. It's trying to give the feeling to somebody else. Right. Instead which of is actually impossible. feeling. Right. Yeah, which is totally impossible. So basically what's happening with Donald Trump, guilt is coming up right. and then and then that's the ego trying to give it to another body. Right. Basically. So it so doesn't see, yeah. To feel it. Right. You'll see how but some of the it's really feeling it anyway. That's why it's trying to get rid of it. Unconsciously. But right. yeah. Right. Un right. Unconsciously and then and you know it it's like it's building all these walls in the mind against yeah. feeling stuff. Right. And the body is only a reflection of the mind, right? Right. So it's I see that. building and, and then you know the body even becomes physically hardened from mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say so soft and, you know, right. and pliable. pliable. Yeah, Jeez. you know, it's not good for circulation and stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, so it's, it's like, it, and it's, so all this, everything is just completely in the mind. So all of these things that arise, uh, I see as opportunities and, you know, anything that comes up that wants to say something about another person or how they do it or whatever um it's to just really um 
be strong in that stance in the truth. To be devoted in that in in that stance in the in the truth, and then again, um, as something happens where it looks like you fell from grace or whatever, that's yeah. also the moment to stand firm in the truth. <laughs> yeah. to me, like taking a humility pill is what I've been talking about. <laughs> Swallowing the damn horse pills called humility lately. Yes, that's really big deal. Yeah, that's really awesome. Yeah, that's huge. Thank you. Thanks so much for doing that. It's a beautiful and um, transformational, and uh, it doesn't help the world one bit. It um, it brings the world to destruction, which I appreciate. <laughs> Total annihilation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God, you've given me so much to think about. Wow. I guess I'm <laughs> listening to this again over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really appreciate you and your um, questions and just uh, just your presence is really inspiring. And, oh, uh, and what the heck? Okay, well, that's you. It's really you. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course it is. God, just you having being able to talk to you and seeing back when we were in Hawaii together, it was 2012, and that was, I didn't have any, you come a long way, well, so have I, <laughs> or if, if that's what, in the mind's perception, <laughs> we've come a long way in, the, in understanding. Yeah, the, well, the understanding is definitely building. That's what's happening. That's what's to be noticed. It's not as if there's someone to take credit for it and go right. pat yourself right. on the back or anything no, like no, that. No, no, no. But that, that's the course of what's going on. That, that's, the, that's the way it is. I mean, it's not, it's not bad to recognize that at all. That's, mm -hmm. And, and it, even, it even shows you, hey, wow, you know, mm. look what else possible here. Yeah. You know. Mind blowing. Uh-huh. Yeah. So awesome. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very so much. Do it again and again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> again and again. Again and after, again. After the darling comes here, when me and dad did. Okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, if anyone else has a question, go ahead and raise your hand. Um, Lori, you're still on, so if you want to ask another question or you want to bring up a comment or anything like that, go ahead and shoot. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I'm out. Oh, there's two hands. Oh, okay, bye. You know, I'll stay long, on for as long as there's questions, so feel free to raise your hand again, Lori, if you want. I will, okay. I haven't talked to Scott yet. Oh, okay. How do I get on with you, Scott? Because I don't see your microphone. Send unmute request. Scott, I sent you an unmute request. I don't know what that means. But, um, oh, there you are. I, I see you light up. Are you there, Scott? Hello. Oh, aloha, Scott. No, this isn't actually Scott. This is Holly, but I'm with Scott. Oh, lovely. Aloha, Holly. Hello. I have a question because I've been listening to you and Lori, and I'm really, really new at this, but I was listening to you talk about, um, at one point you said you were really angry and you thought you were going to go off on somebody. Uh -huh. And so my question was, who is that that's feeling, and, and how much information do you have on something called IFS? I so don't know what IFS is at all. Let me say that oh, right away. Okay. What, what is it? Is it, uh, it stands for internal family systems. So it's 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 like the mind has different parts. Like you oh, have a, okay. you have a manager part, you have a sad part, and you have an angry part, and you have an intelligent part, and an inquisitive part. So I just wondered if if you ever related those feelings that you were having of anger, like it, as parts, it, as opposed to just one entity, just hope. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. I, I, I think I see where you're coming from on that. Um, no, that, that thing with parts, that doesn't really matter to me. I don't, 
I don't really I don't really take that into consideration at all. Just okay. noticing the energy and where the energy seems to be pulling um, the body to just like do something that is not even in alignment with the, with what uh, what what I value, which is the truth that there is no separation and there's nobody to get angry with. Okay. Yeah, and so seeing that and um, and noticing that this thing is almost like a wild animal, like about ready to come out and arr, 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 like right. that. Okay. Ew, do, 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 do. I can feel it coming. You can feel it, right? And so I'm I'm just like I'm just like help me because it's like I don't want to go there. And so, go ahead. At, at that at that point when you said like it starts to build up. Um, yeah. With this other individual, is it the information that this individual has fed you, or is it all of a sudden there was a trigger and then you don't hear that person anymore, and now all of a sudden it's that energy that's building up and building up for you? Yeah, it's that it, it's that energy, but it seems like it it seems like it's the fault of the other person. It it's, seems like the other person is causing this ill feeling inside of me. And so what, what is the ending result of, of that for you? So what did you conclude after, after you thought about it? What, what was the conclusion with that incident? Well, there was a feeling, and, you know, I'm really referring to something that happened a couple of years ago. I haven't had that kind of energy come up like that in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So I'm referring to something a ways back, but it did make quite an impact when it happened because it was a real shift in the mind. It was like, it, it was, because that was something that was happening several times a day up until that point. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay? but so it was such a major shift that it changed everything. Um, but it, so the so the way it was experienced, it was like it total victimization, total like um, this this person has, and you know after repeatedly seeing this over and over again, and also um, it was really close to the time where I sat for ten days in silence, just dealing with whatever came up as as a trigger. Okay. So um, there was probably a lot of steam there from that. But there was just this complete devotion to standing in the truth, even though this was such a habit to lash out at this person. Mm -hmm. um, and so when that happened, when I said, help me, Jesus, and there was a complete just calmness that kind of seemed like it came from the head down, like almost from the, time, the crown chakra down. And um, the way it resolved is I didn't have anything to say. And after that, and I'm still in a very close relationship with the same person. And after that happened, any time those kinds of incidents come up, that person would actually look at me as if expecting me to call them guilty again. Okay. And I could see it in their eyes. I could see the look in their eyes. And, you know, after that, I'd, 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 go, I'd go, no, I love you. No. Are you mad at me? No. Uh, there's there might be something in me that says I'm mad at you, but I don't believe it one bit, and I just love you. And as that as that progressed, like I said, it was a couple years ago. As that progressed, um, that person gets less and less guilty looking as we go along. So there's less and less and less even the trigger, and even and even that person having to ask me. Are you angry with me, or are you mad at me? Did I do something wrong? Even right, right, okay. Yeah. So the transformation that had, can take place, and you know that you that you see in your relationships are just they're they're super they're super loving, and you can just see you can see and feel it, and know that know that it's awesome. Okay, well, thank you very much for um, explaining that because I just wanted to try to get an idea as to where those feelings were coming from and was it just like hope or was it something else or somebody? Yeah, there's not really a hope, okay? Uh, that's, what, that's what I see. Hope is a name given to a bundle of thoughts is what's happening here. Okay. That's what we're, you're, we're usually referring to as me, you know, and, and we have to. Like a lot of the times we have to just to just for reference you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but but that's what that's what was really seen like especially in those 10 days of silence it was seen that there isn't really this hope 
who can be victimized like this. And this is a, this is all love that's that's going on here. It's what I'm projecting that as something where there's a problem is just to, just a projection of thought, and that's all it is. It's all a habit. Even anything that I perceive another person doing, that's a projection of a habit, and it's like an emotional habit. Mm -hmm. It's just these emotional things that you know picked up whatever, wherever, whenever. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of it gets picked up in childhood. It's so so right, weird. right, yeah, yeah. And so a lot of us kind of like live through that, and you know that really came to be noticed, like all of these kinds of emotional patterns that um, seem to kind of help me to survive in childhood were being projected now out toward my family and friends and the world and everything like that and making things very difficult. So is this more like unlearning a behavior? It's it's so much more instant than that too. Okay. You know, okay. and that's kind of like why I I guess I guess it could be looked at like that. Like I don't feel like I'm opposed to saying it like that or anything, but um, but but in my case, this shift was very very instant. Okay. I also I also had another experience um, uh, leading up to it where um, there was thoughts of murder. And I know they were going on in the in the subconscious before they came conscious. So there were thoughts of murdering someone that I loved very much, and they were actually very graphic. And then that was another turning point that was just very very transformational because I uh, because those when those when those um, thoughts of murder and they had actually like a vision of it, like I could actually see it, like I could see how I'm doing it and everything. That's a little and, frightening. <laughs> Yeah, 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 sure, sure. But then at the same time, you know, there was a readiness to have that vision because because you know this is actually what's going on in the subconscious of everyone. It's like, a, but but you know, most people are really afraid to see something like that. It would make them go crazy, you know. So yeah. they're just like, they don't look, they don't look at that. Um, but this came for me one night, and I was actually awake all night with it, with murder. Um, and and that was also because because the the next day everything was everything was transformed everything you know because because then there was this ability to see and feel where these thoughts go and and see why there's murder because <laughs> you see where they're going. I'm just yeah. I'm just trying to absorb all of that because I can't imagine waking up the next day and go, okay, there was murder last night, but how do I feel this morning? <laughs> well, you know what? There is not even a, a, a break to go to sleep, so. <laughs> but, it, but it was interesting because it was kind of like with the sun rising. It was, uh -huh. that was pretty interesting, but, but yeah, just a willingness to go there because, you know, you could like, it, you could like maybe take drugs or do a different activity or something like that or uh, you know whatever it is to not have to experience that but there was definitely a willingness and a readiness to sit yeah. there in it and feel all of these sensations of it because you know there was noticing that that was really important that this is playing in the in the subconscious mind and then the, and then the relationship is just completely completely transformed after that Okay, well, thank you very much for answering that. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, I appreciate you, Holly. Thank you so All right. much for coming on. Aloha. Thank you. All right, hello. Bob Shine. Yay, I take Bob. Aloha, Bob. Oh. Are you there? So, so, yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yay. Oh, good. Well, yeah, because it's all—it's uh, past. It's like two oh eight. Um, I don't know who, you know, who all is left. Uh, who, <laughs> who who else is there uh, on the webinar with us? Well, we have Lori and Holly, and maybe Scott. I don't know. I see Scott's name, um, but oh. there's like, the only one left with your hand up at the moment. Oh yeah. So, yeah, because you've been talking about uh, different uh, key experiences in your uh, awakening evolution, I wondered if you could give us a, uh, a little uh, story 
Uh, I guess you don't want to be stuck in stories, but uh, uh, a, a glimpse as to your spiritual uh, and emotional uh, evolution, how you came to this point in your life and the various stages and phases you went through, the impediments and the problems, you know, what you've been exploring and discussing a little bit about yourself that it might help everyone to know a little bit how how uh, you got to where you are today. Hmm. Well, I guess that would go all the way back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go all the way back to, you know, it's like, it, it's the same as, as every body mind that appears to be born. It's uh, the whole thing is uh, for learning to come back. The, the whole thing is just for learning to come back. Now, to to where you never left, actually. Mm. And I don't know. I, I mean, I mean, I've I've told you about some um, key experiences of the mind that go on as far as um, as far as this sense of separation and how it can play out. Um, the sense of separation definitely um, noticed that it got very strong for me um, when I was a child. Uh, as far as you know, dealing with all of the shame and abuse and everything that goes on um, in that kind of atmosphere, there was a strong sense of needing to protect myself and not experience that again. And then that was always projected outward for everyone around me and needing to get away from people a lot of the times and wanting to be alone a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Do you have anything specific to ask me about that? I'm not really sure what to tell you. Well, I, I had this other thought. So the the sense of separation is it because things are outside of us? Like I'm here and that's outside of me, so it's separate. Is is the key to realize that everything is inside of you, that your consciousness is actually embracing or projecting or whatever uh, everything that you're perceiving and that it's not outside of you but it's actually embraced and encompassed within you. Yeah, is, is that the key to, to removing the separation? It's kind of like when you're asleep and dreaming uh, everything uh, that you're experiencing in the dream is within your consciousness. It's not outside yeah. of you. For you're projecting it, you're creating it. And yeah. so the fact that we enter into this waking world from a sleeping, dreaming state mm -hmm. maybe indicates that we're still sleeping and dreaming, is what it seems to me. That we're not, uh, this is just a waking dream. We're walking and talking in our sleep. And yeah. uh, we're not, we're not fully awake to the fact that this is we're still embracing this reality in our consciousness the same way that we embrace the dream we had that uh, that we just woke up from in our right. consciousness is that is that the key to to uh, unification rather than separation? Yeah, that's huge because it because it's a, it's like if you see that everyone is. A projection of your own consciousness there's no way you can hold on to anger for them or try to convince them that they're guilty or try to get them to apologize or try to get them to change their actions or anything like that I started to see that a lot like um, in my marriage because I was able to kind of um, get my husband to go okay I'll I won't do it like that anymore and then I go is that really what I want for him to just like not do it like that anymore, why would I want that? that? You know, <laughs> and it seems like it, it seems like you want them to just behave a certain way that'll make you happy and stuff like that. But what I start to see is that that I actually don't want anyone to behave any certain way. Uh, I, it, I just want them to be exactly as they are because that I could see exactly what needs to be seen. That's just trying to cover stuff up. To go, oh, don't not, don't do it like that. Do it like this, you know. I was just trying to cover stuff up. It's like if you're if you're not meant to be together, then you won't meant to be, you won't be together. That's not a problem. You don't want to try to don't, don't try to change things. 
You don't have to try to change anything about anyone else. And um, seeing that about my kids too, and that's you know really a huge one too, is um, not trying to get them to be anything different than what they are. Trying that's basically manipulation or the world or anything like that, or thinking about how I can make an impact on the world. Um, it's just, it's all a projection, and, and in seeing that it's all just a projection of consciousness, um, consciousness starts to dissolve, and consciousness will dissolve. It's only separation, it's only made in separation. The reality that's behind consciousness is the real reality. That's, the, that's where, um, that's, that's where basically it, it can be said we are, or I am in the reality before consciousness. Yeah. Consciousness is held dearly by, by, by most people, even you know, spiritual seekers that want to manifest stuff in consciousness. But consciousness itself is separation, it's ruled by the ego, and, um, and it's all, all the work that needs to be done is right there in the mind when it's arising as if something is separate. Then, so then you can face everything. That's what I notice. I just like um, there is a courage to face anything that arises, and not trying to push anything away. Right, not to uh, change anything in the external, but to uh, just change your attitude to love, and it's then, then that's what trans. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're gonna have, have, have gratitude as your attitude instead of uh, <laughs> blaming and shaming. Huh? Yes, exactly. Welcoming everything as it comes. Right. But this idea that uh, there's nothing outside of us, there, there's no out there out there, uh, and that we're embracing everything in the consciousness, then then that seems to be love because an, an embracing is is, uh, is is a loving, and it's basically it's not you embracing if you're in touch with this space, this uh, uh, essence or this source that is above and beyond form and effect. Then you're embracing all form and effect with this. Uh, the arms of love, you know, there's that song, he's got the whole world in his hands. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can feel that you have the whole world embraced in your hands of, of, of love, of, of this this space, this essence, this, this substance that is above and beyond finite form and effect that's, that's infinite and eternal and everlasting and pure and, and uh, wholesome and beautiful, that, that, that this is this is the world that you're embracing, uh, and the world is going wrong because you're not embracing it. You know, it's like your kids. You're not loving your kids. You're not embracing them or uh, accepting them, loving them, and so then you know they become delinquent. They become bad kids, or they're you know they're they've gotten rotten and everything because we haven't embraced them in this in this in this love and unconditional uh, acceptance of. Who they are, and uh, without wanting to change them. Yeah, well, the, the kids, the kids aren't really kids, and the world isn't really the world. It's all, it, it's all a manifestation of consciousness. It's all a manifestation of this idea: I am separate. But um, the, the awareness that's behind every I and within everything—that's me. I don't to. See, that's mm -hmm. the thing. It's like the, the kids aren't real, the world isn't real, that kind of stuff. It's just all me. Right, yeah. So that's and just so it. That's how you can easily... Yeah, so it's not wanting to make anything better. And it's not even minding if they if they want to look like a delinquent or anything like that. You know? mm -hmm. It's all the same. It's all... It, there's not... There's not a differentiation applied to whatever's happening on the surface. The bottom line is, it's all me, it's all love. And it's not like the surface happenings are love. That's not true. They are not. They're a manifestation of a thought that says, I'm separate. It's their ego. So there's no reason to call some things good and some things bad. 
It's the connection that yeah, we have well, that shines. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's certainly great to connect with you like this. You know, here we are. You're uh, in Leilani. I'm in Kapoho, and uh, <laughs> there's no separation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it just seems that way. Uh, it just right. seems like somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So maybe you'll get a, a app or something where you can see me too, huh? Maybe. I have an, I'm going to make an appointment to interview another one of these services to see what they can do. Yeah. Okay. And maybe we'll Great. be able to. All right. Them. We'll see if we can do it. We can we can do it with a uh, more interaction. Yeah. Yeah, that would that would be fun if everyone could show up like the Brady Bunch. You know, they show all the pictures of all the kids in the Brady Bunch all together looking at each other. I think we can. <laughs> well, I'll, I, I'll see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So all we right. could be the love fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you Hope. Yes, I appreciate you. Thank okay, you. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, I muted him too soon. <laughs> I muted you soon. What was that? What did you say? What were you saying? Oh yeah. Well, uh, uh, yeah. I'll be posting the uh, notification for your event here at my place on Friday. But we have uh, our movie night on Friday, so we'd like to move it instead of four o'clock to three o'clock because our movie night at Dragon's Eye starts at six forty-five. So okay, uh, no we have problem. Yeah, so I'll be posting that just just to give you a heads up. Great. Thank you so much, Bob. Okay. I really appreciate you holding the space. All right. Thank you, too. And for your inspiration. Aloha. Okay, thank you so much for joining, everyone. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for your questions. Thanks for being here. Thank you for your love. And um, let's get together again soon. Aloha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to look what I mean, Dad did. Okay. It's in your room. <laughs>